What is up everyone? Welcome back to Blade Bias. I'm sick. My room's a mess. I still haven't moved out. Let's talk about this extraordinarily goofy guy, the LDY Frank. This thing is very interesting because as I record this, the black variation is the only one that exists and will probably be sold out very quickly, especially after this video goes live, which serves as a whole meta commentary on LDY's um, seeming want to make only time-limited things, which in a hobby where everything is dominated by review-style content, things basically become obsolete the second that no one can buy them anymore because no one makes reviews, no one talks about them, no one's interested in buying them because you can't buy them. I would actually love to do a video on that problem as a whole with the Balasong community sometime in the future, so if that's something you want to see, let me know. But today we will be focusing on the Frank. Full disclosure, LDY sent me this ballast song for free for the purpose of these videos, but did not pay me or tell me to say anything at all whatsoever. I didn't even hear from them um, for the longest time. So here's what comes in the box. Spare hardware, spare washers, spare bushings, extra screws, etc. A NFC tag to lead you to the specs of the Balasong itself. The Balasong is a 7075 aluminum Chanwich model with a 440C stainless steel blade. I was going to say that, but I wasn't sure. And Frank is a goofy, goofy guy. As I mentioned in the unboxing video, Frank is extraordinarily tip-weighted and end-weighted which makes him a momentum-carrying monster. But it also means that if you want to do a trick where you have to reverse that momentum, such as a twirl is a perfect example, you are going to struggle more than other Balasongs specifically would because you have more weight, more momentum to stop and send in the other direction. Balasongs that don't carry momentum as well have a benefit in the fact that you can ricochet their, their weight much more easily than you can something that has a lot of momentum. And that leads Frank to being incredibly sticky, especially for being something which I would call having a slight blade bias, but ultimately being a little less agile than I would really like and requiring a lot more effort to flip and flip well. Just close my finger in the live side. That's fun. Good thing it's not that live. Um, and I think that's where Frank really becomes very interesting is the fact that it is that kind of blade bias experience, haha, <laughs> pardon the pun, but, yeah, that was stupid, not even a pun in the first, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Frank is very blade bias, but usually that means you hear that and you think, oh, well, he's not very blade bias. He has a bit of blade bias to him. Usually you hear that and you think, okay, so he's not going to chaplain very well because blade bias means that the chaplains don't hit. But thanks to its distribution being incredibly outer weighted, meaning that the weight is focused on the ends of the handles and the tip of the blade, he actually sticks to a lot of different tricks. Rollovers are perfectly adequate. I would even say he excels at them a little bit. Chaplains are great. Uh, fans are amazing because of the extra blade weight and the extra tip weight. The problem with that comes in with the fact that there is so much momentum being thrown around in a fan that when you start it, it feels a bit laggy, it feels a bit slow, it takes a little bit of time to get into the groove of things. And this is why I like my Serif so much, because it doesn't have that extra tip weight to slow down the fan, but it still fans just as well as a slightly blade bias Balasong would, because I don't have the crazy weights at the end of the handles. Now, when you get past that initial effort of starting the fan, Frank fans incredibly. He holds momentum incredibly well, and he feels like the fan can't be stopped by much. It's just that initial kind of effort to get over that fan, to introduce that fan into a, you know, normal rotation that makes it feel a bit sluggish, a bit slow. And Frank, as a whole, for being a very light balisong coming in at four ounces, actually four ounces, yes, four ounces, does feel a bit sluggish, does feel a bit slow because you're dealing with all of that momentum when you try and change it in any way. And while I don't think that that's a bad thing, I introduce a lot more effort when I'm trying to flip flank, Frank than I do when I'm trying to flip anything else. He fatigues my arm much more than other Balasongs would because there is so much effort going into overcoming that momentum that he carries. 
So overall, Frank is an incredibly good flipper. What about physically? I hate the lack of a tip on this thing. While I understand that's what makes for its really interesting bal uh, balance, while I understand that's what makes for its really interesting weight distribution, while I understand it makes him look like a goofy little guy, I hate it. Because I went to open a box and I was like, hey, I'll use the Frank. And then I couldn't because I can't stick the tip in to start cutting the tape. And the tip is too thick to stick it into a box and then cut the tape. You know, that's like in the middle of a box because this is just too thick to go underneath some of those boxes if they're held down too tightly. And also, the grip overall is just not great. There isn't, while I think that this is grippier than a lot of other aluminum ballast songs, um, because of the chamfering here, and it makes for a very rounded experience, Frank is still very rectangular, and Frank has no hole pattern, meaning that these faces, these sides, even these chamfers, are ridiculously slippery in the right tricks. And the jimping, too, while good, still falters with that. Oh my gosh. As you can see, it still falters with the fact that that aluminum is slippery. So while the jimping almost hurts me, it digs into my fingers so much that it's noticeably uncomfortable, it doesn't provide the grip that I will want because of that slippery aluminum. So ergonomics-wise, Frank is pretty good. Grip-wise... Frank is not the greatest. And while I do agree that these handles do a lot to, you know, make the balisong look a lot better, a whole pattern or a texture or even just a coating of some sort maybe would have gone a long way into the grip department for Frank's handles. So overall, Frank is a goofy little guy that will give you an experience that not many other balisongs can give you. He's going to introduce you to a balance and a weight distribution that aren't really available at this price point or often. And while Frank won't be available very often in the future, for right now, if you're looking to figure out, hey, what does tip weight feel like on a balisong, Frank is the first thing I'd point to. You get that extra fatigue, not fatigue, you get that extra sluggishness when you go into a fan, but he carries a fan incredibly well. And you get that sticky feeling despite having a bit more of a blade bias style balance profile because of that weight distribution. The weight is all focused on the outside, so things like chaplains, that momentum is keeping it glued to your finger. Things like rollovers, that momentum going in a circle and being on the outside helps make it a smoother experience as opposed to something like the Vulp, which has a ton of pivot weight which means that that momentum is closer to your finger and it's not swinging around the outside and it spins off and it's just a whole thing. Do I recommend Frank? I don't know. If you're looking to try out that balance profile, if you're looking to get experience with what that little bit of blade bias, what all that tip weight feels like, it's a no brainer. It's a fun guy and he's good to flip, but I certainly don't think he's going to be a mainstay in my flipping collection. I don't see myself reaching into my case to grab out Frank for a legitimate sit-down, listen-to-music flipping session more than he's just a fun experiment to say, hey, this is what this balance profile looks like. I like this ballast song. I like this flipping profile, but I don't like it enough to daily drive it. And I think that's ultimately where Frank goes. For me personally, that little bit of extra fatigue that he introduces in trying to, that little extra sluggishness when you're trying to get your tricks going, is something that I would just get rid of and flip my serif any day of the week, which can carry. And I know I'm comparing it to something that's literally five times its price, but the serif has all the same benefits as the franc without having that extra sluggishness. So can carry a fan, yet it still sticks to your hands and just overall feels much better in my opinion. Now, if we're comparing it to other things in the price range, actually giving it a fair comparison, I don't really know what I would compare Frank to. Like I said, there's not anything like this in this price range, and I think that is ultimately going to be his biggest draw. So if you're interested in something very unique, Frank is a no-brainer. If you're looking for your next best flipper, maybe? Um, but if you're a fan of more light, agile ballast songs where you can throw around the momentum far easier, 
Frank might not be the guy for you. And if you're looking for an EDC tool that you can actually cut stuff with, Frank definitely won't be the guy for you because I really require a tip if I'm going to be EDCing my ballast songs. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. I've got some exciting stuff coming up. And I will return to some ballast songs that I've been meaning to get around to uh, for a little while now. So, hope you have a great day. Hopefully I covered everything you're looking for. If you need anything else, let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you all in the next one. Later.